I think it's about making sure that when someone is close to death, making them as comfortable so to make that transition as least painful as it can be. I just think that they are very afraid of it. It's a very big unknown and we don't talk about it often, we don't share about it. In life, I don't think there's much instances where you can actually talk about death unless a relative dies or someone very close to you dies. So. I think there needs to be a lot of education and a lot of thought given it to it. Saya nama saya Dania binti Zainuddin. Umur saya 70 tahun. Tapi 70 tahun lah. Lagi 2 bulan 71. Saya mengidap kanser 2004. Saya pergi duduk kat rumah, saya rasa dada saya sakit di dunia Kalau saya tak sedap, saya terus pergi poli klinik kan Dia cek tisu, dia cek masa Dia kata bilang, mak awak ada kanser Berapa kanser dia bilang, tahap tiga Dan saya kata, anak saya bilang, boleh baik Doktor bilang, dia tak, tak boleh lah Ketik-ketik dia bilang I have been working as a nurse for about eight, nine years. The most difficult part about working with patients and their family members when these patients and family are unaware of the disease, the treatment and the outcome when they refuse to accept uh, the disease uh, progressions or the outcome or the treatment. We have no way how to go about it, especially if they do not really know what is happening, what's going in their body. It all depends on, you know, the attitude of the patients. Some of the patients who have very positive attitudes, interacting with them, will also boost out their you know, morale, their self-esteem and they'll feel definitely you know, uh, better in a way. I think uh, my experience working with HCA is very fulfilling, very challenging uh, because every day you're faced with patients who are going through a dying phase. 
and it's not easy. So, so it is sometimes very difficult, but of course, it is very fulfilling when you see that you know they are able to prolong their life, and that they are able to uh, have happiness. You know, coming to the center and they pass day after day with a lot of smiles, and this gives me a lot of pleasure and you know, confidence in myself. I think it was uh, one or two years back, I have one elderly who was about 90 years old. He was enjoying the activities and the program here every day. Then there was one day when his conditions deteriorated. He got into the hospitals and admitted for a while. Then the best part was on discharge. He was, he got the ambulance to send him here to see all of us to visit us at the centre. Then we were all very surprised and he was very happy to, you know, to visit us again, although he, he cannot, he cannot uh, attend the daycare centre. We were so grateful to him for remembering all of us. Uh. Then after a short while, he passed off. And one important uh, lesson that I learned as a nurse uh, is to how to impose confidence to the patients in order to, for them to go through uh, life with happiness and enjoy themselves, you know, before they leave this world. And this has also made me uh, strong and realise that life is so precious.